This video is sponsored by Ben's defamation complaint on my channel. He got one video blocked already so enjoy while you can. In today's bedtime story, we hear the heartwarming tale of how Ben's father ripped off a woman for her entire life savings, and left her completely destitute, broke and on the verge of suicide. Please enjoy. Ben writes, I remember one incident when I was young. We had just returned from living in Holland for a few years. My father met this woman in the pub and started banging her. Really charmed her with bullshit. Anyway she let it slip that she had 15,000 pounds in the bank. My father saw an angle and sold her a line that was seemingly impossible to believe. He told her that he'd left Holland and returned to England because there were hit men after him because of a business deal gone bad and the only way he could call them off was to pay them 17,000 pounds. This was early 80s when that was a lot of money. If he never paid them the money he'd either be killed or he'd have to leave her in the UK. She'd only known him for two weeks but she said I know why don't I give you the money and then we can set up home together. What a great idea he said as though the thought had never crossed his mind. And so she gave it to him in cash. Silly woman. He spent the money in a few weeks on beer and women and she never heard from him again but she knew he'd conned her. The reason I remember it all is because he received a writ to appear in court a few months later. She'd gone to a lawyer. But she'd made a terrible mistake though. She thought his name was David Smith whereas his surname was a word sounding like Smith but not Smith. So when he got the writ he ignored it since it wasn't his name. She now could not afford to go through the procedure of paying the lawyers again and to write out a writ in his real name. He got away with it. Stupid fucking woman though. A. To believe the hitman bullshit. And B. To lend a man 17 grand without even knowing his surname. In the end he took my mum to the cleaners too when he finally left and when he recently left his long term relationship and moved to Indonesia he took her to the cleaners through a mixture of intimidation and threats. The guy is insanely alpha and totally amoral with no regards for anyone but himself. Seems that those are attractive qualities to women. The woman is probably dead now after experiencing the double whammy of shame from being betrayed by someone she thought she loved coupled with financial destitution. He destroyed a life. But what do you guys think? Did she deserve it for trusting another human being? Was Ben's father completely justified in ruining her life to obtain the bare necessities of beer and British hooker vagina? Or is this guy a bit of a wrong un? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Toodaloo ladies. See you in the next one.